The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then like this, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly Father also will forgive you but if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In yesterday's Gospel, the Lord spoke about three elements of our spiritual life, about prayer, almsgiving and fasting. And today the Lord is explaining what is a true prayer. And for that he gives us this beautiful prayer and this beautiful prayer can be understood with five R's, five R's. When we look at this prayer, we are reminded of that five R and in a prayer which is genuinely raised to God will have all these elements that Christ has taught us. The first R is relate. Christ is asking us to relate to God differently now. So far the Jews said, He shall be our God and we are His people. Maybe they put God somewhere away. He was a thing to be adored and worshipped, not a father to be related. Not a father who is loving. They could not imagine God as a father who is caring and loving and forgiving, who has so much of love towards them. And today the Lord is bringing them closer and telling them, relate to God as if you would relate to your father. He is your father. And that is the intimacy that each one of us must feel when we come to pray. We are not afraid of God. He is not a policeman. He is not someone who keeps account of all the wrong that we do and is waiting for a chance to punish us. No. He is a father. He is more than a mother. That is what the Lord himself says. Even if your mother forgets you, I will not forget you. And the Lord is calling us when you pray, relate to God as if you would relate to your own father. Have that intimacy, have that love and warmth when you pray. We are not praying to someone who would punish us. We are not praying to someone who is waiting for a chance to catch us. We are praying to a God who loves us beyond everything. He is our father and the Lord is asking us to relate. That is relating. And second is rejoice. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. We are joyful in praising God and that is what we see in the life of our blessed mother. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. That was the prayer of our blessed mother. Prayer is a time wherein we rejoice. Rejoice in praising God. 
rejoice and saying hallowed be thy name we adore you and in your adoration we rejoice and prayer is a time to rejoice in adoring the lord prayer is a time we rejoice in worshiping god and that character is beautifully seen in our blessed mother she rejoiced when she prayed to the father that is rejoicing and thirdly receive receive with an open heart thy kingdom come thy will be done receive and the lord says receive the kingdom of god with an open heart and open mind be open and ask the lord lord let it come i am open thy kingdom come thy will be done lord i am open to your will and prayer is a time wherein we open up ourselves to the will of god and this aspect is seen very much in the life of christ himself whenever he pay, prayed to his father his prayer would, would conclude saying thy will be done even the greatest prayer that he prayed in the garden of gethsemane he concluded that prayer with those words he said father not my will thy will be done he was open to the will of god be done according to me according to thy word mother mary let it be done to me according to thy word according to thy will that is openness and the lord is calling us every time you sit in prayer open yourself to the will of god thy kingdom come to the rule of god to the will of god and that is receiving receiving the lord with an open heart and then we have a request a request to make all of us have our needs our prayers our petitions give us this day our daily bread we are telling the lord give us life that is what we need only when we have life can we eat otherwise no basically we are asking the lord when we ask for our daily bread we are asking for that life that comes from jesus and that is what the lord says i have come so that you may have life and have it in abundance in fullness give us this day our daily bread a request and all of us prayer is a time we also request we ask our father what we need my prayers my petitions my worries my sorrows my anxieties my my tensions all that i want to pour out before the lord and prayer is a time a request give me my daily bread my daily need that daily bread can be different things for different people peace of mind good health in fact daily bre- bread lot of things peace in the family it could be various things it could be the welfare of our children for some of us the daily bread can vary and we are asking we are placing our request before the lord and the last r is repent forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us repent and prayer is a time wherein i repent i tell the lord lord i'm sorry i've gone against you against my fellow brethren forgive me forgive me and today the lord is asking us when we have these five elements in our prayer and that turns out to be a, a beautiful prayer and that is why the lord is teaching our father and this prayer has got all these aspects this prayer is bring us closer to god and it is telling us call god as your father my father our father you are my father i am very close to you the lord is asking us to relate the lord is asking us to rejoice the lord is asking us to receive the lord is asking us to request and the lord is asking us to repent and whenever we pray let our prayer have all these five aspects and this our father prayer is such a beautiful prayer and every time we pray we have all these five things that the lord wants us to have in our own personal prayer